you what was art Breaking Bad and The Sopranos have in common? Well, a lot. But the answer I'm looking for is money laundering. Money laundering is a trillion dollar industry that's hidden from most everyday people. Shows like Ozark, Breaking Bad, The Sopranos, and the money laundering depicted feel so far removed from reality. However, money laundering and the related scams are much more common than you would think. Hi, I'm Danny from FCCU, and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday, where we show you how to use our technology at FCCU, as well as some advice on how to stay safe in the digital world. Today, we're gonna talk about how easy it is to become tangled in a money laundering scheme by becoming a money mule, whether you know it or not. Today we're going to talk about the following smorgasbord of topics. What's a money mule? How are money mules recruited? What are the red flags? What are the consequences of being a money mule? And lastly, what should you do if you think you are a money mule? But first, let's define money laundering just in case you're not familiar. Money laundering is the practice of making money gained through criminal means look as if it came from a legitimate business activity. This criminal activity can include fraud, human trafficking, drug trafficking, and more. It's very serious. What is a money mule? A money mule is someone who is asked to receive money into their bank account and transfer it to another bank account, or someone who allows someone to take control of their bank account. Essentially, a money mule helps move around money to make its criminal origins harder to track. How long has this bobby pin been hanging off my hair? That's gonna drive me nuts in editing. There are three general types of money mules and they vary based on the person's awareness of the criminal activity. First, there's the unwitting or unknowing money mule who's unaware that they are a part of a larger scheme. This money mule is often solicited via online romance or job offer. They are often asked to use their personal bank account or open a new bank account in their name to receive money from someone whom they've never met in person. Often they are told to keep a portion of the money and then and send the rest of it to another unknown source. So most likely recruits for this category are students looking for work and individuals on dating websites. However, keep in mind that anyone can be targeted. Unwitting money mules are often motivated by trust in a romance or job position. Here's a shocking and sad stat. The under 21s recruited as money mules has tripled between 2016 and 2019. I don't even wanna think about what it is now during a pandemic. Next, there's the witting money mule who ignores obvious red flags or acts willfully blind to the money movement activity. This money mule usually starts as unwitting, but then continues communication and participation in the scheme. They are usually warned by their financial institution of their potentially fraudulent behavior, and they open accounts at multiple banks to further avoid suspicion. To avoid further suspicion. Unwitting money mules are motivated by financial gain or an unwillingness to acknowledge their involvement. And lastly, there's the complicit money mule who is aware of their role and actively participates in money laundering. This money mule is a serial bank account opener who sends and receives dirty money often. They often advertise their services as a money mule and recruit other money mules. Complicit money mules are motivated by financial gain or loyalty to a known criminal group. I have to be honest, this video is not for complicit money mules, I know. Shocking. This video is for that first category of money mules, the unwitting or unknowing. There are several money mule recruitment strategies that include work from home opportunities, social media postings, and sweepstakes winners. Work from home job opportunities are very enticing, especially in a time when staying home is the safest thing to do. Fortunately, criminals are taking advantage of well-meaning workers and turning them into money mules. Let's review some of the red flags associated with work from home job opportunities. Beware of email or social media messages promising easy money for little or no effort. These jobs will often, but not always, advertise higher than normal rates. Beware of employers who use free email services such as Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook, etc. More legitimate businesses should have their own custom email domains such as forcommunity.com, which is ours. Always conduct your own research to ensure that the job offer is legitimate and try to stick to reputable job websites. Beware of your employer asking you to open a bank account in your name or in the name of a company you formed to receive funds. A legitimate company will never do this. Beware of your new employer asking you to receive funds in your bank account with the expectation to then process or transfer those funds elsewhere. Processing often occurs via wire transfer, ACH, mail, or money service business like Western Union or MoneyGram. Additionally, you're often allowed to keep a portion of the money originally deposited to you. And lastly, beware of jobs with little to no specific duties, especially if those duties do include receiving money, like I said before, or receiving packages of value. Social media postings primarily include relationships sparked on dating websites. In this day and age, it's not uncommon to meet your significant other online. However, it becomes a huge risk when money is involved. Never, ever, ever send or receive money from someone you've met online, no matter how close you are, 
especially if you never met them in person. Check out my romance scam video where I go into even more detail about how skilled cyber criminals can make people believe that they are in a real relationship over months and sometimes even years. And the last money meal recruitment strategy is, congrats, you've won a sweepstakes that you never entered. The only catch is that you need to deposit the check that was sent to you, keep a portion, and then send the rest back. And just don't worry about the check bouncing. Just don't worry about it. This is only one example of a price scam used to launder money. I'll leave a detailed article in the description if you'd like to learn more about price scams. There are many consequences related to being a money mule, unwitting, witting, or complicit. It's illegal and punishable to act as a money mule. Some of the federal charges include mail fraud, wire fraud, bank fraud, money laundering, and aggravated identity theft. What kind of Tech Tip Tuesday would this be if I didn't warn you about your information getting stolen and used for fraud and identity theft? Badly placed joke aside, serving as a money mule can ruin your credit and it can risk all types of personally identifiable information being stolen. Criminals don't want to tie illegal activity back to their account, which makes sense, so they use yours instead. And unfortunately, that could leave you liable to repay money that you never spent. Bottom line? Don't be a money mule. It's as simple as that. Well, it's not that simple. What if you do notice these red flags? What should you do then? The FBI suggests the following action. Stop all communication with the company or individual giving you instructions. Stop transferring money or any item of value immediately. Document all communications with the suspected criminal, including emails, text messages, chats, etc., and keep any physical evidence such as receipts. Notify your bank or the money service used to conduct the transaction, such as Western Union or MoneyGram. And lastly, notify law enforcement. You can report suspicious activity to the Internet Crime Complaint Center at www.ic3.gov or contact your local FBI field office at the link in the description. And that's all the information I have on money mules. When I was asked to research this topic, I had no idea the rabbit hole I was about to fall down. It is scary how clever and successful criminals are at manipulating people with good intentions. Education is the best thing you can do to minimize the number of people who fall for money mule scams. If you're so inclined, share this video because red flags are only easy to spot if you know what you're looking for. I've been Danny from FCCU. Be sure to like this video, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, YouTube and educate the masses. We'll see you next time. We're going to discuss the following smorgasbord of topics. Smorgasbord. 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 Is this line going to be the death of me? Find out on today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about the following smorgasbord of topics. Why did I pick this word? I should have just said variety. The following, a following variety of topics. The following potluck of topics.